everyone transport enthusiast here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install pro mods for euro truck simulator 2 and now in this tutorial i will be showing you how to do it the free way as most of the videos out there show you how to do the paid way although obviously i do encourage and it is encouraged that if you can you do the paid version but there might be some reasons why people prefer to do the free version for example some people may not want to have paypal or bank details used on you know might want to limit where they use their bank and uh paypal because obviously all that stuff is online like myself or if someone's younger they might not have uh, easy access to a card so regardless of the reasons the option is there so obviously it is understood that not everyone will go for the paid option and hence there's also a free version although you will be penalized in the sense that it will take you longer to do but nonetheless what we want to do is i'll actually show you how you can do the paid one as well i'll show you both but essentially what we go here is we go here to promos europe and then as you can see here we choose a language so you can select here from whatever language you want i'm going to do english and then you're going to generate your dev file so now this is important the first step is to generate a dev file so we're going to click here to generate the dev file and then this file needs to be put into our ets2 directory which i will show you now where it's located so we can generate a dev file here now one thing to make sure here is now you have to select this to your uh based on your game so your cabin interior signs as you can see here you have to select which one's applicable to you for us it's the default ones and then your damage level again this is based on what settings you have in the game we have default damage vegetation um drawing distance so again this basically is it's pretty much your render distance and it's how far ahead you're going to see the the various parts of the map so as you can see here you have different options so you have near drawing distance so this is essentially if you're running on a laptop uh, most laptops or if you're on a low spec pc you have standard which is for an average pc and then, as you can see here um for whichever pc you want we'll put here a uh, high drawing distance hopefully this will work because each s2 is a it it does work on a lot of machines so even if they're older so then as you can see here you can s select this i'm just going to leave this to default i'm not too fussed about that and then map to capability again that's not too important and if you have the special transport you'll see make sure to check this as well i don't so i will leave that blank generate so now it's generated our dev file now what we need to do is we need to put this into our ets2 folder so as you can see here this file needs to be copied into your mods directory and one thing to make sure is that you don't actually extract this you simply just drag the winrar file into the directory so so basically the next thing you want to do is you want to go here in your directory so the directory is this pc documents your truck simulator 2 this is usually where your ets2 directory is for most people for some people it may be in a different directory but this is usually the place where it is found so then we simply need to drag this here and put it into our ets2 mods directory so actually we need to go here to mod and then as you can see here we have all this now one thing to bear in mind is that this is the old version of pro mods so this will no longer be compatible so we can just uh, yeah delete that like so uh you can override it if you want but i think it's just safe to delete and start from scratch because we are down downloading everything again and we'll delete that as well okay so uh the easiest thing to do is if you have this on chrome you just drag go here and so like so that's done now we go to step two and then you do our installation so as you can see here we have this is for version 1.4 so make sure you're using basically the default although if you're using the experimental beta it won't work so now what we do is we have two different methods of downloading so this is the premium download and this is the standard download i'll be doing this i'll be going through how you do the standard download uh, because but uh, particularly for those of you who are younger out there you might be doing this but also you have the premium option if you want to do the premium option you just go here and then you will have to put in uh you'll, you pay one euro or 86 pence using a paypal i think i think paypal is the main one so yes i don't actually use paypal so i, I won't be doing that so then we go here and stand and download you have a video here again explaining it if you go into difficulty now what you need to do is you need to download all of these files one thing to bear in mind is that you can only download two files at a time and the download speed will be capped to you this will take you about 40 minutes to an hour and a half so i will obviously won't make this video that long what i'll do is i'll just click the first and then you just have to wait for this to load and then you download and then we click the second and do the same thing So then it's going to check your browser, go back there for a second, and I will start downloading. So yeah, here actually this is what I wanted to show you. So your maximum speed is 300 kbytes per second, and you can only have two downloads running at a time. So actually, let's just... 
let's just yeah do that again so what we do is we go here And then we start to download. So this will, once these two things are open, it will start downloading. And then we just, once you, these two finish, you can go on to the next. And then you need to do this until you've downloaded all eight files. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay. So as you can see here, the downloading. So now I'm just going to pause this and then... Um, what we'll do is once we've downloaded all eight files, we will continue. So essentially what you need to do, just a quick reminder is you click, you download the first two, once they're finished, you download the next two, once they're finished, you download the next two, then you finish and then do that for all eight files. Now, of course, if you want, you can be very meticulous here and keep a constant eye on things and, you know, save a few seconds, but that's just the easiest thing to do. So yeah, you can close this, do something in the background or whatever. So yeah, once that's done, I'll um, unpause the video and we shall continue. Okay, so now once we have finished downloading the seven files, what we can now do is we can now go on to actually extracting the seven files. So basically, one thing to mention, actually, I forgot to mention this at the start of the video is, but in order to run ProMods, I'm sure most of you are aware of this, you actually need to have all the official map DLCs, excluding Iberia, but in the not-so-distant not future, it is very likely and pretty much guaranteed you will also need Iberia in order to run ProMods. So that is just something to bear in mind, but you can always check the compatibility page to see which precise DLCs you need. So if you just click here, and it will tell us. So as you can see, at the moment, for version 2.5, uh, 2.55 you need east north france italy baltic sea and uh road to the black sea so that's all of those excluding iberia iberia is compatible but not required so as you see at the moment it's not required but not so distant future it will most likely be required anyway moving back so now what we want to do is then we need to uh, copy the files over and we need to move them to our mods directory so our mods directory is here in under mods so essentially what we will do is we will right click like so and then we'll go here this is our mods directory so we're just going to drag this over like so and then we go to step four so step four after downloading ensure all SES files are placed in your truck simulator 2 mod folder so we should have an assets file a dev file a map media model and model tree so what you want to make sure is we have those files so we go here and we click extract here so as you can see here it will start extracting these files and then we should be good to go and we'll have the tree file uh, the files that we require So the, also to mention is that you don't need to do this for all the eight, the eight files because it's automatic for the files seven to uh, from one to seven. Eight is I think the test file, so you can actually test if it works before we enable the mods. So yeah, we just wait for that to finish up like so, and then we should be good to go. So as you can see here, we have our model 1, model 2, model 3, media, and we actually don't need the rest of this. So now what we do is we just uh, get rid of what we don't need. So we're going to control click. We don't need any of that. We also don't need these here. And we just, as you can see here, now we have everything we want. We have assets, we have def, we have map, we have media, we have model 1, model 2, model 3. So we're just going to cut these and you can either delete these or if you want to keep them as a backup, we'll just paste them back in downloads so yeah we'll just paste them back in downloads i uh, skip the files there that are already there close this off okay now what we want to do now the final step is we actually need to enable our, mo our pro mods in your truck simulator 2 so to do that we simply open up your truck simulator 2 and then we just wait for it to load up and then we just enable them and then one thing to note is uh, uh, generally what you can do is you can update your map compatibility so that they actually work so now what we want to go do is go here into mod manager and now we need to enable our pro mods. So as you can see here, we have pro mods 2.55, and we simply need to enable all of these pro mods. So the way you do that is you click this button here, you click this button here, and you do do that for all the pro mods. No, that's the Kaufland. Sorry. So yeah, exactly. And then we just check that all our pro mods are active, which they are and then we are good to go so we can click escape uh no oh wait no i uh, make sure you save this actually so confirm changes 
Okay, so once you have installed pro mods and once you've enabled them in the mod manager, now once you load up your world map, you will have pro mods ready to go. And as you can see here, we have now new areas like Ireland, Greece, uh, to name a few that are added within pro mods. And also one thing to bear in mind is whenever you have pro mods enabled, if you ever load any profile, it's going to load the pro mods. So if you want to keep your basically your default maps and your pro mods map separate, then you should probably create separate prof profiles for each and make sure that you have pro mods disabled when you want to load a map that does not use pro mods. And folks, that brings us to an end to this, uh, today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe to, subscribe to the channel. That is, for that is it for now. Until next time. Bye for now.